Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to part two for your monthly reading for the um, for the middle of January 2022. Uh, this is part one. If you haven't watched it already, uh, there is a link to this down below. Definitely go check it out because we cover all of this right here. Um, so we're just going to quickly clarify this and see what wants to come up for you. Uh, I am going to pull anchor cards as well. For your first row, you have this hair spirit. And uh, this card says that, um, you know, it says cycles on it. Interesting. You have the Wheel of Fortune in the first row and you have the tower. You know, this could be like karmic cycles, uh, you know, going through karmic cycles, whatever you want to call it. And so I feel for some of you, there could be these cycles that you're going through. Uh, this would be a cycle of abundance, though. Look at all these rabbits all over this card. I feel like there could be a lot of um, abundance coming in for you with this energy. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, in your current general energies with the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Six of Pentacles. It is going to be really, really important that you put your energy into that Ten of Cups. Again, Ten of Cups, there's like a little bit of dreaming, future focus type of energy. I was talking about this in a reading like last week, I think, where it's like I drive around and I, I like I can almost guarantee you anyone that can see me driving around town uh, must think I'm crazy because like I talk to myself the entire time, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm talking about, you know, I always talk about like what I want my life to look like, what I, you know, and I, I go really deep. Remember in the first reading, I was like saying, don't just, you know, talk about wanting $10 million if that's what you want. Talk about all the things you're going to do, the places you're going to go. You have to get like really vivid and detailed. When we do that, we build ourselves up. And again, it's free. So you might as well try it. Six of Pentacles really says you are going to get the side of the scale that you put your energy on. Uh, with the Fool and the Death card as your crossing energy, I knew this was going to happen. You have the uh, Judgment card. You now have the Judgment and you have the Tower. Uh, to me, Judgment and the Tower is pretty much the most powerful combination in the Tarot. It is like a major wake-up call. It's not just like a tiny little you know thing, right? To me, when these two cards come up right next to each other, on top of each other, whatever, um, it, it's extremely powerful. So you know, I feel like some of you could be feeling a very strong pull. I'm pretty sure I said this in your reading for the week of January 17th. I was feeling this like pull, uh, which would fit in, in which, you know, these are the mid monthly. So it, it would fit in nicely with that energy. It's like, you, I feel you being pulled uh, in a new direction. or It's like you feel pulled towards something. I would say it's those surges that I was talking about in your first reading as well. It's like you could be feeling these surges of energy where you get really excited about something. And I feel like the seven of cups and the seven of wands here is reality. It's, um, you know, it's like we can feel really good about, uh, again, wanting $10 million. Let's just, let's just use that example. Um, or we can feel really good about having a family but then we get hit by reality, seven of cups, seven of wands, where it's like uh, like all the what ifs and, and maybe we have past experiences, six of cups with the 10 of swords in your reading as well. We have these experiences where we've had negative experiences, right? And that's like the thing that's like bopping you in the head here, Pisces. So again, I would focus on what you do want. Uh, with the Nine of Swords and the Tower, you have the Ace of Wands. Your thoughts are definitely on a new beginning. Um, Ace of Wands is a very, very passionate energy. And so I feel like there is this passion. I almost feel like your reading is like a, a billow. It's like, you know, if, if you've ever used a billow for like a fire where you're blowing air onto the fire, it's like I feel like there there's this contraction. And, but uh, that's the best way I can describe it. This like contracting energy where it's like all of a sudden, the, like the energy inside of you builds up when you think about something. But it's like when you're filling it back up with air, the energy goes away and it's like you don't feel so good about something anymore. That could be the reality that is hitting right um, here. <laughs> mm, it's like you have a very strong desire to move towards something. Let's see where this is going. Uh, in your middle row, you have the uh, curveball. You have Neptune as your uh, middle row card here. This card says vision. What have I been talking about this entire time? Your vision and kind of like what you were seeing, Ten of Cups, we were talking about this. It's like you see everything you want in your life, but do you have it yet? Probably not. Uh, in the area of your foundation with the sun and the king of wands, you have you showing up here, the uh, hangman. And like, I feel like the hangman is saying, you know everything you want, and especially coming up with the sun. Again, the sun and the hangman to me is a very powerful combination of enlightenment. It says you have hung yourself from this tree. You have sacrificed movement, basically, with your arms and your legs. I literally feel that you have sacrificed movement. Some of you maybe have been in the same spot for the past year or two, which make, again, I'm not, I, I know, you know, I know I'm speaking very generally here. And yes, I understand that COVID ha has prevented people from doing things. But I, I like, I think it's more than that is what I'm trying to get at here. It's not just COVID that's prevented you from moving or pushing forward or whatever. I feel like it's just, um, you know, there's like a little bit of a dip here in the energy 
where you're trying to find some inner answers, this to me would say you are getting the answers you have been seeking uh, with this energy, uh, especially with that sun card and the hangman as well. Um, hangman is, again, I feel like it's good for you because it's like saying your head is glowing. You are you have received the enlightenment or you are getting the enlightenment. Uh, with the page of cups and the king of cups, you have the temperance card. Yeah, like I said, very patient energy. This is coming up in the past. It's like I really see you trying to make something work with this temperance energy, for a lot of you, I feel like it's love. It's like you've, I feel like a lot of back and forth energy, a lot of changing your mind as well about like what love means to you, what it, what it should look like, what it could look like, you know, all this stuff. I, I feel a lot of thinking. And again, I feel like this is gonna become more intense because of Venus retrograde. Uh, I feel like it's more, and I do feel it's more thoughtful. I think for you, it's maybe more in your head where you're kind of like thinking about like what love means and all that other stuff, especially if you're looking for it. Uh, if you're not looking for it, and uh, even if you are looking for it, I feel like you're, again, focused on love, but something that you love, like your business, your job, your career. It's like, what makes you happy? Um, or how can you make yourself happy in whatever situation uh, that you're in? as far as work, business, or career is concerned. I really feel that you are definitely one of the signs where it's like you're, there's a more uh, creative pull here. So it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you were working on personal projects, um, you know, writing books and things like that over the next like 10 years or so. Uh, it wouldn't, you know, I know that sounds like a long time. I'm not saying you couldn't do it right now. I wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you did do something like write a book this year and, or uh, start a YouTube channel this year. Um, something that puts you out into the world because of Jupiter in your first house. Um, it really wouldn't surprise me if some of you were working on those things. Um, and again, I feel like this is something that you could love. You know, it's like we can write a book and we put, you know, you know how they say cooking with love? You know how you can tell when someone cooks with love, their food tastes better, right? Uh, what I would say here is that whatever you're cooking, I would cook it with love. I would put your heart and soul into it because it's gonna taste better, uh, even if you can't eat it, right? Uh, with the, um, here in the near future with the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, you have the Tower. I like. I feel like this is missing out on something, Pisces. It's like, um, you know, I would say don't miss out on something with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like not accepting an opportunity could cause a Tower moment. Uh, I do also feel this is just connected with the Judgment card. Um, is what I would say. There, I feel like there is a sudden opportunity coming in for you. My problem is that seven of cups. Really, my tower is not. My my problem is not the tower twice. <laughs> my problem with your reading is that seven of cups. It's too much thinking. Uh, it's like too much being in your head. Uh, and trust me, I get it. Like I tell stories all the time about you know how like years ago I like lost a business and I, I kept trying to rebuild the business, but eventually because I had so many failures, like I just got to this place where I just wouldn't get started on anything because it created this like. Um, I don't know, it's like feeling inside of me where I just wouldn't, um, I would I would come up with an idea for something new, and but then I would like go into this mode where I'd be like, no, I need to find answers to make sure that it's gonna work right away. And if I couldn't find those answers, I just wouldn't even get started, right? I wouldn't even do it or put in the effort. I kind of feel that here where there is like a, a, a little bit of a need to take a risk in the sense that you just jump into things. That, you know, I think there's a need for you to just kind of take the risk of, um, you know, starting something or jumping into something, like I said. And that could be a little bit scary. I do feel like ripping the Band-Aid off uh, with that tower energy as well. It's like something, something is being released here and we're going to have to definitely um, look into what that could be. Uh, in your last, in your last dish row here, we're gonna clarify these other last the outcome as well. But you have the seahorse. This card says family matters, and you also have this flute card. It says disappointment in a friend or a lover. We kind of talked about this. I feel like you've been experiencing disappointments with a friend or a lover. And and again, Venus retrograde in your eleventh house makes perfect sense that there could be some disappointments with a friend or a lover, whatever. Right? Uh, seahorse says family matters. So I feel like a lot of you clearly ten of cups, uh, six of cups, even the sun with the king of wands definitely could be focusing on family matters or um, you know there could be something going on around family with this energy. So uh, we'll look into that. Uh, in the area of the next few months with the Magician and the Eight of Swords, I like this. I feel like there's a lot of clarity coming in for you with the Queen of Swords. She is the first Court Swords card where the clouds are not above her head. It's like she's, she at least has some answers. She is at least able to see a direction that she wants to move in, right? She's very logical as well. So I feel kind, I feel kind of good about that. 
Uh, with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands, you have the Three of Cups. Really good time for socializing as well, especially with those people that are positive in your life. This is the area of your closest relationships. Uh, so a lot of you could be socializing. You know, Three of Cups is a card of re reunion. And you, you have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups here as well. So for a lot of you, there could be like a family reunion or you could just be getting together with some people that you haven't seen in a while with the Three, three of Cups. I uh, definitely like to see that. Uh, with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups, King of Swords, of course, I'm, I'm pretty sure, um, you know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in your first quarter readings that you had the this combination, King and Queen of Swords, uh, two people who are not on the same page is what I would say here, Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a person where it's like you're just not on the same page, you just don't have the same ideas about your future life, and so you could be moving on to something else. Again, you have the Ten of Swords and the Six of Cups here. And like I was saying, Six of Cups can also be a gift from the universe. It can be a turnaround in your life. Um, but this is your your future feelings. It doesn't necessarily have to do with another person. Like I said, I feel like your future feelings are very direct, straightforward. I'm pretty sure I said this in your first quarter readings that you are on this path of being very matter of fact. I feel like you are no longer hesitating, which is great because like I was, I was a little bit worried about that seven of cups, you know, intuitively more so than anything because it's too it's overthinking. King of Swords, he's not seven of cups. He kind of like makes a decision to move in a direction, doesn't really worry about the outcome. And he also is fully responsible for his decisions as well. If it's like if he does something and doesn't work out, he takes 100% responsibility. Um, because of that, <laughs> everything always works out for him because of his, you know, because of that kind of like energy. It's it's funny how, I, th I think it's funny how the universe works, right? Uh, it's like you have the fool here. If we hesitate with the fool, when you're jumping off the cliff, it's like you're, you're going to tumble down the cliff. If you just, you know, if he just jumps, then this next step appears in front of him. So I kind of get that energy here, Pisces. Uh, with your outcome of the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, you have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands really asks you to take the lead, and I feel this whole entire reading is really asking you to take the lead in general. I feel like it is saying that you are the one that needs to take control of your destiny uh, with that Wheel of Fortune. It's like, in, and the Ten of Cups and the Sun in that top row. That top row is very important um, in this reading. I feel like it's saying you could have this. It's going to require work, and it's also going to require like a little bit of that kind of more risky energy in the sense that you're taking a leap of faith. I, I think that this is complicated because there's a lot of cards here. I feel like it's very simple at the same time. This reading is asking you to uh, leap towards what you know you want. Uh, let's get a final outcome. I feel we'll pull right here. Uh, your final outcome is the elephant. It is a card of leadership, it says on this card. So there you go. I feel two of wands. You have to take the lead. You can create whatever you want. <laughs> Neptune, Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces says, you know, take your biggest dream, multiply it by a hundred or a thousand, and uh, maybe you won't get that much, but whatever your dream life is, but you'll get pretty damn close. So uh, definitely time to take the lead, and I feel like you are. Um, you have two great cards of leadership here as well, King of Wands and the King of Swords. And I, I feel that, you know, the Seven of Cups is the only thing that can hold you back. So, uh, pretty interesting reading. We'll have to see what happens next month. I feel like next month is going to be much better for you in general, Pisces. We get out of the retrograde and start moving forward. So, yeah, we'll see. But this is pretty good. So, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your month.